Well, okay. folks, I love you too. Yeah, I am. I'm okay. offer names just to put down who all here. Is it Mallory Hoyt, Assistant City Attorney? Is it Mallory, did you say? M-A-L-L-O-R-Y. H-O-Y-T. Brian Heyer, Assistant City Attorney. Bill yeah. Lukic, uh, work for the City Times. Gail Hahn. Is it T-A-Y-L-E? It is, yeah. H-A-U-N. Wow, that's weird. It is. Both are unusual. Kevin Schmidt, Quad City Times. Kevin? Kevin. Kevin, sorry. I, I have a cold. I can't hear. Can't hear. Can't talk. And last name again? Schmidt. Kurt Allmeyer oh, yeah. with the City Communications Office. Sorry, yeah. No. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? 
phones. It's been me, Terry. Thank you, Judy. I just got ahead of myself. <laughs> okay, the approval of the minutes. Uh, we have the December minutes plus the January. So let's do the December 1st. There you go. There you go. Thank you. No, because we, we didn't have a January meeting. We didn't have one because right. we didn't have enough people. Okay. It's on the back side of. Um, That's in February. Oh, is that? Wow. No, it says December. Oh, it's February 4th. Yeah. 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 I see. It's second page. Yeah. Approve the minutes of the December 11th meeting. Second. Is there a second? Helen. All in favor? Aye. Aye. It's been moved and seconded and voted in minutes for the December meeting to be approved. Okay, now we have the January. But we didn't uh, have January. Special, special, special meeting. Yeah, it was February, February, 4th. February 4th. Can I take another minute? Sure. Oh, It's right on the minutes. Yeah. Buddy, find him. I'll move to approve the minutes. Is there a second? Just approve it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. It's been moved, second, and approved that the minutes of the January 4th, or February. January 4th, February 4th meeting be approved. Okay, now to the director's report. So for December, we had no right to two letters issued. We have one case that settled in mediation, and it was a race and retaliation case. Um, and it settled for $1,500 in a public interest. And we had two settled in conciliation. Um, those involved um, race discrimination and retaliation. Um, and it was a companion case, so it ended up being two cases. The initial case was race, and then they filed the second case for retaliation. So they settled them together for $20,000 in the public interest. Um, met with Commissioner um, Tom and Garrett on the public hearing procedures. This is their first public hearing review. Can't see if there's anything fun that happened. <laughs> I don't remember December. Oh, yeah. 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 And then January. Yeah. 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 
I don't. I still haven't found a sunburn. It's towards the beginning. Oh, I found yeah. it. Okay. It's January. January's January's near the end. Yeah, it's in the back. Is that before the Yeah. But the January we had no right to sue with letters issues, and we had four cases that settled in mediation. Two of them were employment cases. Um, one involved a race case, um, and that one settled for a reinstatement and relief from the public interest. Um, the second one um, involved allegations of sex discrimination. That one um, resolved for a relief from the public interest. Um, but there was a policy change. Um, there was a housing case that settled in. Uh, January as well, that one involved race discrimination relating to a criminal background check uh, practice. Um, and that one settled for relief in the public interest, so the respondent didn't have a policy. They were kind of um, doing kind of ad hoc decision making on uh, uh, cases involving a criminal background, and so they developed a formal policy um, outlining how they were going to decide on those applications. Um, we had one public accommodations case that settled. Um, that one involved discrimination on the basis of national origin. Um, that one involved a person who was uh, made from trespass from a property, um, and there were racial slurs uh, used, and the uh, respondent agreed to remove the trespass order. Uh, we are working with. Um, School of Social Work at St. Ambrose to do courageous conversations. Um, that was a follow up to the kind of the fair housing thing that we did last year and the courageous conversations that we had through DHS. So we had one of them last month during the Civil Rights Week at St. Ambrose and it was attended solely by staff, which was kind of fun. So getting some professors in um, to kind of work through courageous conversations and how to have difficult conversations. Did any of them have previous experience how to do that or? No, it was, what we did was um, we did the um, uh, privilege walk exercise. So they, what they gave us was like a, a folder full of different exercises that we can work on in group settings to talk about race and other, I mean you can um, alter it to use different um, subject matters. but. So we um, had them all line up and then we read statements and then they take you take a step forward okay. if the statement applies to you. And that's a privilege and if it's a negative, if it's a, like a deficit, so you take a step back. So then after everyone gets to the end of the race, it's like, okay, we'll see where people, where their starting line is in life. We think people all have the same opportunity. So it, it was a great visual exercise. Um, And we have another um, uh, exercise scheduled with them as well. We're going to do a CEUs for social workers. That one was supposed to be last last week, but it was canceled because of the weather. So we're rescheduling it for the end of March. What's that one going to be? That one's going to be, um, we edited the exercise, so it's going to be a, um, um, it, you can do a report card on the community. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I think, did you participate in the thing at the library? Did mm -hmm. you do it there? So we, it's like a, it's a report card and you go through like education, employment, um, public works, health, mm -hmm. one more. But it's like basically like you go through and people give, a, give their grade on how they think the access and opportunities are within the community. And for themselves or for everybody or for? For what they think from their perspective mm -hmm. for everyone. So if they think that um, the community has awesome employment opportunities. And then just kind of uh, getting people to get together in groups to figure out if everybody has the same perspective of the um, services and opportunities that are available mm -hmm. in the community or if um, people from different backgrounds have vastly different perceptions of the opportunities that are available. Mm -hmm. Um, but that, that one's going to be rescheduled. You said that's going to be in March? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we did the lead training at PD. This Kirsten's gone, so <laughs> I didn't want to thrust Cody into it uh, this first month here, so we did that. That was interesting. Um, did Cody go with you? Uh huh, yeah. yeah. Um, We 
doing a Black History Month presentation over at the library, February 27th. Six o'clock or six thirty? Don't tell under. Uh -huh. yeah. um, for DCAP, do we, um, I've been contacted by two community members um, who want to participate on DCAP. Do we want to appoint people to attend DCAP on our behalf? Well, Clyde was doing it informally, wasn't he? Yeah. I, think. I think whether he was going to attend or not, he was going to keep us up. But I don't know that he became a formal member. Yeah, I don't yeah. remember. But that was also before he got ill too. That's true. Yeah. That I mean that was yeah. It's been. Because that was last six to nine months yeah. ago. Yeah. And the I don't get minutes really from what goes on the meeting. So yeah, but if we were members, then we would. Um. Well, I guess technically we were members now. Part of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So if we wanted to appoint someone to attend on our behalf and give us back minutes. You say it. there's somebody that's interested in going? Um, yeah, John, um, I don't know if you all have any reference of John Detay. Mm -hmm. um, but he was, um, he works for Humility of Mary, I think. Mm -hmm. He was interested in participating, though. Um, he was then wanting to know kind of what their status was in going forward. And I told him, we, though we are a formal member, we don't go to the to the meetings and the minutes that we have don't really kind of give us any a lot of information of what's going on so I told him that I would ask if you all want to <laughs> allow other people to attend on our behalf to report back um, I don't have a problem with that again I think we should get Clyde's input okay Anybody else the man's name you? again please is John John Detay yeah I know the name don't know him I wasn't able working with them at OCP. Do they even have a set date and time at the meetings? So? I don't think so. I, I've been getting uh, emails about it kind of the day of. Because they kind of seem a little disorganized on getting the time and place and date. They're, they're, the ones that I've seen are over at PD, and it seems like at 3. Okay. Um, I know they had one yesterday. I think, but, uh, yeah. <coughs> Dr. Brockington and uh, uh -huh. okay. you make one put a pin in it. I, yeah. I guess I want to, like, like Ben said, see what Clyde see what, yeah. what the book is before. Okay. And I already talked about the Black History Month. I guess that's kind of it. Anything else? Oh, yeah. um, you got um, Public Works was here um, at the door. They were going to change the locks on the door to like make it a key, uh, like a. Are you talking about the doors for for our here? Office? Yeah, yeah, to make it like a scan entry mm -hmm. kind of thing. Um, and we we haven't been contacted about it. We just Beth happened to go to the bathroom and walked up on them, and they talked about it. Um, so um, the person said they were going to follow up with us and give us some more information on it. But um, we have some concerns about first of all security, but also um, whether or not that would be accessible mm. um, if we have something that locks the door and people can't get in to our. Because office. you're thinking it's locked all the time, then, or it. That, that's what was conveyed to us, it's going to be locked all the time. Um, and we can get up and open the door for them. For this uh, this door, not the front door? I yeah. mean, not well, the door for like both of them. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that would be a deterrent. That's where we had a door, doorbell, maybe? Yeah. I mean, this well, is government funding. Do we know what the, what the um, reason for it is? Was it? No. Yeah, I don't know what the reason for it was. Um, but it is something they're going to go ahead with, or, or they're, they're just reasoning on it now. You told me to get more information on it about a few weeks ago, so I haven't gotten more information, volunteered about it. 
I would uh, be curious if specifically we could set the hours. So say, you know, that outer door, at least for example, is open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. whenever the office is open. Yeah, because I could see people coming and the doors are so they're going to think nobody's yeah. here. Yeah. So that's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, is there a motion to approve the director's report? I move we accept the director's report. Should we do them separately? Yeah, December. probably should, yeah. Okay, so I'll second approval of December. Acceptance. I don't think we, I don't think we approve it. I think we accept it. Accept it. Mm -hmm. uh, is there a second on the acceptance? He, he seconded. I moved. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't hear that one. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? It's been motion, moved and seconded that we accept the director's report for December. Now we have the case status report and director's report for January. I'll move to accept January. Is there a second? A second. All in favor? Aye. Any Aye. opposed? It's been moved and seconded that the case status and the January director's report be accepted. Okay, now down to new business. Um, I'm not sure which one this one is. This is the um, case that went for public hearing that you're going to go into closed session oh, okay. to deliberate. So, Gail, do you have something? I would like to make a brief statement. Okay. This is the okay. appropriate time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm Gail Hahn. I'm the Director of Human Resources at Von Mark, and I just wanted to make a, a brief statement regarding the matter that you'll be considering. I um, have been involved in this case since uh, we were aware of it in April of 15, and once the probable cause finding was um, declared, this body moved to have it heard by the Board of Inspection and Appeals. That hearing took place September 6 and 7, uh, 2018. And Administrative Law Judge Druckman issued an opinion and a ruling on November 16th of 2018. Now, it's my understanding that you've had opportunity or you'll be provided per ruling as well as the post-motion briefs by both parties. So, um, I respectfully request that you um, accept the findings of, of Administrative Law Judge Druckman in the matter. Um, I feel she was thorough. It was a two-day hearing. A variety of witnesses were called and, and evidence was reviewed. So um, that is my request today. Thank you. Okay, okay. thank you. Is there any? The client contacted the office today and said that she wanted to come, but her child um, had a uh, health issue, so they had to go to the hospital. Okay, is there any other new business? Is there a motion to accept? Or no? Do we don't need a motion for that? No. Okay. Old business. And then there was the um, discussion about the meeting format that has been had Oops. yeah pushed back. Um, we want to discuss it today. I kind of lost so the thread on that. Can someone remind me? So that was. Um, um, the city administration wants to record the meeting so that they can post them on uh, some online format. Um, and there was concern about the chilling uh, impact that that would have on people coming to bring issues before the commission. Also, the uh, meeting that they're placed online are not captioned so that um, violates the ADA. So there was concern about people who uh, are working whether or not that creates a uh, concern for people at work who are very young. And then I think either you weren't here or Shiley weren't wasn't here. And there, there I think Shiley was here. Oh, okay. because she was, I was If it was December, I was gone in December. Yeah, yeah. Shiley was. Express personal concerns mm -hmm. with him because her employment. Her, her yeah. 
Yeah, I, don't, I, I think I'm happy with the format the way it's at. I don't know. I mean, it's a public meeting. I'm not necessarily opposed to it, but I think we should have everybody here when we make a decision. But that, then it, I also think the captioning should be addressed. I mean, am I to understand that, like, for example, city council meetings are not captioned? No, they're using, like, YouTube's auto caption feature, oh. and that's mm -hmm. not accurate. Well, I could see where it would be a lot of people may not come forward with a grievance because they think they're going to be on t being filmed. I can see that could be an issue for the public. Yeah, I see both sides of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do too. You know, it's an open meeting. I, I want to hear more about what about Shiley's concerns, too. I mean. Okay. Well, we can table it until next month. Next month. She's here. Is there a motion to table it? Yeah, I move to table it. No second. It's been moved and seconded. Is there a? Uh, I got hit myself again. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? It's been moved and seconded that we table the talking about the format next month, the March meeting. Okay. Public comment and presentation. Is anybody going to make any comments? I think, yes. I think this might be the appropriate time for me to make uh, this statement. Um, uh, at this point, um, I have reviewed the resolution uh, that was passed at the last meeting by those of you who are uh, clearly sitting commissioners and those of you who, depending on one's interpretation of the law, uh, might be former commissioners. Um, I don't want to be disruptive of this commission or the process. I do believe there's a very plausible case that the mayor's appointments and the council's uh, uh, confirmations of the new commissioners are legal. Uh, it's unfortunate if uh, this disagreement um, creates uh, uncertainty around the validity of the decisions of this commission, which it may well do if that's not resolved, and that if uh, the interpretation uh, that I see in the code uh, turns out to be correct, then at least two of the commissioners voting today would not be illegally um, in a position to vote. Um, I don't I have a very personal need to serve on this commission uh, from a, you know, an ego perspective. Um, if in fact the interpretation uh, that I see and that the mayor and the council apparently had is incorrect, um, I'm fine to accept that. But I, I think it's critical both for the uh, certainty that the public and the uh, parties to the issues that the commission deals with uh, have it resolved as soon as possible because it's unfair in particular to the parties involved in the disputes. To some extent it's unfair to the larger community uh, to have this hanging um, as it is at this point. Uh, it's also, uh, and this concerns me, uh, there obviously are um, uh, issues of concern, tensions in the community around the subject of civil rights and uh, I don't think it helps the cause of advancing um, strong civil rights enforcement to have various parties who are interested in that in dispute about the proper way to go forward. Um, so based on the resolution, I'm uh, accepting not being invited to sit at the table as a legal commissioner, although I believe I probably am. Um, but if this can be resolved either by political action through the council or by uh, some judicial resolution, I think it would be uh, good for the community if it was done quickly. And I would ask, since I believe everybody at this table uh, uh, doesn't want uncertainty to continue and is generally dealing in good faith, um, I would ask that the commissioners, um, whether current or former, um, cooperate in seeking a
prompt resolution. It's unclear to me what the mayor and the council and the city administration intend to do to get this resolved, but I think it's in the interest of the city of Davenport uh, to get it resolved promptly. Thank you for the opportunity to make that statement. Thank, Thank you, Lee. And I have to concur with you on that. I think as soon as we could get this taken care of, the better it is for the city and for everybody involved. Is there any other public input? Yes, Brian Heyer, Assistant City Attorney. Uh, I guess to dovetail on the comments that Mr. Gaston, Commissioner Gaston just made, I'm going to provide you with notice from the City of Davenport <coughs> that the records that we have requested last week by me at the meeting and additional records that are detailed in this letter to the ballot commissioners uh, requesting information. The City of Davenport is requesting this information and you are being placed on personal notice as commissioners of the Davenport Civil Rights Commission that you have to take whatever steps are necessary to maintain and, and preserve these records so that they're available as the City of Davenport contemplates its legal options uh, in pursuing the resolution to this. Um, as for Mrs. Hahn, you have an issue today that you have to consider because two of the people sitting at this table and participating in this meeting are not legal commissioners and they've participated and are taking action on your case which is going to render it void. So you're going to have to deal with that. Thank you for your time. Brian, do you have one more? Four. Me. I didn't have one. Well, I gave yeah, you one. Yes, Helen, one. Helen is not he, on It's the his opinion that Helen is not right. a commissioner. Right. So. I'm just emailing. Yeah, I'm okay. going <laughs> um, Anybody have any comment? No, any other public comment? Yes. Valerie White, Assistant City Attorney. I believe you have been misled about what you can and cannot go into closed session for. You should carefully study this provision of law. You look to section 1A through 1L of 21.5. Did you get one to You will see the reasons why you can and cannot go into closed session. Passing resolutions is not one of them. The resolution wasn't passed in closed mm -hmm. session. It's not. To discuss, even to discuss resolutions yeah. regarding your ability to serve or not is no. not one of the provisions. Yeah, well, Carefully study the provisions of law. Anything else? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Is there any other public comment? Okay. Um, anybody want to, to go in closed session now? Since the matter is resolved, I'm going to I'm just going to pass that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll make a motion for the first session. Is there a second? No second. All in favor? Any uh, uh, opposed? We should take a roll call vote. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You should. Nicole? Yes. Helen? Yes. Me? Yes. Ben? Yes. Susan. Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Mm. I'll let y'all finish this one. <laughs> um, we're going going into closed session, so everyone will have to leave. Thank Who's you. Who's audio taping it? We will. You can wait until we get it in here if you want. Yeah. I'd like to see that. Instructions are not in the packet, were they? Oh, she didn't the push play. Instructions. Yeah.